Welcome back to p o m e s s Channel. In this episode, we have complied some potential issue that might arise due to improper operation, along with corresponding solutions. We aim to address users' questions and guide you in minimizing the likelihood of problems through the proper operation. Inconsistent battery voltage reading. Sometimes the battery voltage reading from the inverter may differ from the voltage measured at the battery terminals. A variance of plus or minus 0.3 volt is considered within the normal error range. Additionally, using excessively thin or long cables can lead to voltage drop. To address this, consider using thicker wires for battery to inverter connections and a shortening cable length. You can also ensure accurate battery data by establishing precise communication between the inverter and battery's battery management system. This helps reduce voltage difference effectively. PV input data lower than configured array voltage. Cloudy day, shutting off photovoltaic panels or poor panel connection. Might cause the actual output voltage of the PV array to be lower than configured voltage. To address this, adjust the panel placement to avoid shutting and optimize the array performance. If the output still falls short, expire wire lags and gauges between the panels and inverter for stability and secure connections. Inverter automatically shuts down after startup. If the inverter shuts down within three seconds of activating the LCD screen, LED signal indicators, and buzzers, it's often due to lower battery voltage. If you encounter this, consider charging or replace the battery before restarting the inverter. Inverter shows battery or PV power instead of AC input power after connecting to utility power or AC generator. If the inverter remains in the inverting mode even after connecting to AC power source, review the AV power priority settings. In the AV power priority program, you can choose the solar priority to prioritize solar energy utilization, or opt for SBU to emphasize inverter and battery power. If after configured AV power priority, the inverter still remains in the inverting mode. Please inspect the AC input power situation. Check if the AC wiring is correctly connected, if the AC circuit breaker is closed, and if the cables are not too thin or excessively long. After checking the connections, if the AC power source is from a generator, ensure that the generator is operating correctly and that our voltage range settings are accurate. Inverter reports overload error. When the AC load exceeds the rated capacity and the overload protection time limit is exceeded, the inverter will shut down to prevent damage. Overloading significantly impacts the inverter's lifespan. To address this, you can reduce the load on the inverter and then restart it under normal conditions. Inverter reports short circuit error. When the short circuit occurs, The inverter shuts down to protect the circuits. If this happens, ensure you check cable connections for correctness and inspect connecting loads individually to identify any problematic loads. Inverter reports over temperature error. If the inverter exceeds the specific safe operating temperature, it will automatically shut down its output to prevent hazard like fire. To address this, make sure proper ventilation is ensured. Remove any obstruction around fans or vents, and verify that installation location's temperature conditions are appropriate. Battery voltage to high zero. Check if the connected battery specification, quantity, and series or pallet connection match the requirements. 
To solve this, configure a battery bank that aligns with the inverter system voltage. Abnormal upper voltage below 190 volts or above 260 volts. Overloading the inverter may result in lower output voltage. Certain loads can affect the inverter's voltage causing an increase. If you encounter this issue, you can reduce the inverter load and inspect connected loads for any issues. In practical inverter operation, mastering this troubleshooting solution is important, but even more crucial is following standardized operation practice to prevent the issue from occurring. Install the inverter in a dry and ventilated space, leaving about 50 cm of clearance around the inverter on lower sides for proper heat dissipation. Before connecting solar rays and batteries to the inverter, ensure the module type and specification match by referring to the inverter's parameter table. Using appropriate cable size and plan cable lengths carefully during wiring, correct cable size help prevent overheating from thin cables and voltage drop from long cables. Install separate circuit breakers on each line during wiring. This prevents live circuit during maintenance or cleaning enhancing safety. Before closing circuit breakers, Double check cable connections to ensure accuracy. The prevalence of circuit breaker provides room for correction in case of mistakes. When the starting device, close the battery breaker first, then turn on the inverter switch. Afterward, close the breakers for PV input, AC input, and AC output. After start up, Configure the setting based on module type and new requirements, such as battery type, charging parameters, AC input or output voltage, charging current, output priority, and power source priority. Regular maintenance is crucial. Inspect the cable and terminals for size of gauging and loose terminal screws. Clean the inverter if needed. These are common inverter issues and their solutions, along with operational guidelines. If you have any questions regarding inverter usage, feel free to leave a comment below. Visit our website for more information about Co-Mr. Solar Products. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.